Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV with your college football Thursday night ESPN preview and prediction. I'm going to let you know the best way to play this game on Thursday night between Temple and Tulsa, and it is your ESPN national TV matchup, so why not watch and win some money while you do so? Hey, do, quick reminder, if you're liking these videos here on Wager Talk TV, give us a thumbs up, a like, and leave me comments below. I read all the comments and I reply back. Let's win together. It's week five of college football. Man, we're almost halfway there. As we head into October next week, let's finish off September strong here in week five. Now, this is your national TV matchup on ESPN Thursday night. Not a high-profile game, Temple and Tulsa, but it'll get a lot of viewership, a lot of action, obviously, being the Thursday night game. And first thing that jumps out to me is that Tulsa has played a much tougher schedule so far this season. Uh, no, Arkansas Pine Bluff was not an impressive win, 42-7 in week one, because they were actually a 41-point favorite. But then they were four and five touchdown dogs in the next two games at Washington and against Oklahoma, two explosive offensive teams. And yes, Tulsa gave up 109 points combined in those two games, but those are two of the best offensive teams in the country. They took a huge step down in class last week at Northern Illinois, and they won outright as a four-point dog, 22-14. to And I think that might be the buy sign with this Tulsa program, who's under first-year head coach Kevin Wilson. You know, it's going to take a few weeks for a new coach to get his guys up to speed. And the fact that they've played such tough opponents like Washington and Oklahoma out of the gate, I think is a positive indicator. And look, this is a very small spread. As we look at the Wager Talk live odd screen early in the week here on Monday as I'm doing this video, um, Tulsa opened as a four and a half fa point favorite. The early sharp money actually came in on Temple, dropping this line to three and a half. I even see a three out there now at the Circa in Las Vegas. So it does look like the early money came in on Temple, but I don't quite agree with that move. You know, recent history, I know there's New team for Tulsa. They're one of the least experienced returning teams in the country, but still, they've dominated this series the last couple of years against conference rival Temple. Last year, uh, they were on the road. They were a 14-point favorite, and yes, they only won by 11 and failed to cover, but they outgained Temple 454 to 280 the year before when they were last at home against Temple back in 2021. Uh, they were a 22-point favorite and won by 34, so this is a huge drop in line. They've been a two to three touchdown favorite the last couple of seasons. Now it's only minus three, three and a half. So I think it's an overreaction. And I think there's probably some value here if this line drops to three or less on Tulsa on Thursday night. And the other thing I'll point out is that Tulsa, despite playing both Washington and Oklahoma, held both of them to just 109 and 123 rushing yards. Temple did run the ball well against Norfolk State, the one weak opponent they played. But they've really struggled to run in their other three games against Akron, Rutgers, and Miami of Ohio. They've had 73 rushing yards or less including just 11 rushing yards on 16 attempts and a 41-7 loss last week against Miami. So I think it's a situation, um, it was Miami of Florida, by the way, a situation in which Temple's not going to be able to run the ball as well as expected, and they've been a below-passing offense this year, just 6.5 yards per pass attempt, and that's going to come into play if they're behind in this game. It's going to limit their backdoor cover potential. So in my opinion, Tulsa's tougher schedule plays out in this one on Thursday Night Football on ESPN. Hey, let me know your thoughts on this game, how you'd best play it. By the way, Temple, just 2-20 and 20 straight up as an underdog the past few seasons. Uh, once again, the last three years as an underdog, they're just 2-20 and 20 straight up and only 7-15 and 15 against the spread. So uh, once again, if you like Temple here, you better hope they can win this game outright because they've been a terrible dog in recent years. Hey, once again, if you found this useful, thumbs up, like, hit subscribe, and the bell for instant alerts when my college football top 25 video this Friday and my NFL fade the public video on Saturday go live later this week on Wager Talk TV. And most importantly, leave me comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this game Thursday night. And by the way, if you'd like to get the rest of my football season, my best bets that are hitting 70% in college and pro football, get them right now for a substantial discount. Works out to just $5.5 a day for the rest of the college and pro football season. But you got to have promo code SM Combo. SM Combo. Full details on how to get the rest of the football season for just five and a half dollars a day on my page with that promo code SM Combo right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And stay right here on Wager Talk TV for more great college football preview videos coming up next.